Hello everyone, I'm back. I was going to do a video yesterday, but I had a really, really bad headache. So I took an aspirin, went to bed, and that's it. <laughs> that was my day. So um, what I've been doing this week, I've been trying to experiment with watercolor. And um, it's more of, you know, the effects that the watercolor gives you when you add w more water to it. First you put the color on, then extra water, and it gives you these really nice, they call it cauliflower patterns. I really like that. So I'm just seeing what I can do with this. Then I was thinking about doing a big painting. This is sort of, um, you know, just seeing if I'm, I'm really liking it. But I didn't like it really that much because somehow I don't like the neatness of the uh, the white cell thingies so then I tried to do it a little bit more organic looking a little bit, a bit more you know sloppy looking <laughs> sloppy organic really um, and I'm not sure I'm gonna be making one of those I will be finishing off this but and I'm gonna try see here I did a pretty much blended background here I did one with the brush and uh, I just might do one more trying to figure out if that looks better with a sort of painted background, but I'm not sure yet. I might not do this one. That's a good thing about trying it out on this uh, acrylic paper because it's not as expensive as doing that on a canvas. Now the rest what I've been doing this week and I've been having a lot of fun with that is making these really nice little wooden panels and uh, the collage technique and of course putting some something extra on here and there to make it you know just a little bit more interesting the first one I did was this one and if you're not following me on Instagram you will not have seen this but this was my first one so this is sort of a, a testing you know glues and testing out see how shiny it is I was testing out my varnish. I added some uh, some glittery stuff here and there to make it, you know, just pop a little bit more. And I thought it was nice. Then I did this one, which is perfect because as you can see, if you look over it, it is absolutely tight. And the surface is flat, which I really like. So I was really happy with that. And then I did the last one, which I just finished, I think, the day before yesterday. That's this one. Put in a couple of pores. Put in some letters, the ocean. Also put in a little bit of sparkle in the fish. There you can see them. That is really like a fish sparkle. And um, I painted the waves a little bit. Added these really cute little stars, which are sort of giving this holographic sort of a shine to it but you can't see that on here but I had a lot of fun doing this and um, right now I'm really into the collages and I'm going to be doing one today on paper because you can do this on paper and if you really find that it is something that you really love you can always mount the whole thing on one of these panels because this is going to be a 20 by 20. This is 20 by 20. I would uh, suggest that if you're going to do this and if it turns out really like wow and you want to put it on a panel, um, make the paper just a little bit bigger, like a few millimeters, so that you have enough room. Because if I were to stick this on here, as you can see, uh, let me get it up. I'll show you up close. See, I don't have really a lot of wiggle room. As you can see, this is tight. This is exactly as broad as the uh, panel is. But if you want a little bit of wiggle room, you know, just to cut the sides when you're when it's dry, that would be a little bit better. So I'm going to go over the lines just here and there a little bit. And um, that's what I'm going to do today. Now, I've chosen for green because I normally never do just green. And as you can see, these are all sorts of 
in the same background but with different patterns on it and I just made those and it, it, it took about five minutes it's that goes really quick if you have the right brushes in Photoshop you can do a lot of printing on top of a background this is a different background than this one as you can see but the same colors so I can use that in the same collage here's a blank one then we have one with sort of leaves on it this is one again with a little bit of that pattern in the back which I really like so what I'd like to do I could stick this whole thing on there I guess let's see is it just as wide oh yeah it is but we're not going to do that because that's going to be a little bit cheating and that's okay if you want to do that no problem but I want to show you how I'm going to do this so what I'd like is say this bit here and this is what I like when this happens see that you get this really nice broad looking sort of a tear I'll put this on the side for a bit and of course we have to take this white bit off with a little bit less of the white tear which I like okie dokie so we throw that away then we get our paints and what we have here is just normal watercolor paints but I am going to fill that in because those white lines not so pretty so I did look for a little bit of green that sort of goes with the background and you don't have to make it all the same color you don't have to you know work on it a lot just let it soak in and right now I would have oh I have a little bit of water because I really need a little bit of water there it goes that soaks it up much faster so as you can see this is something that you might want to do but of course if you like those white tear parts you can leave that that gives it something different but I do like to fill this in with the same sort of color just you know it adds a little bit to the uh, to the collage so a little bit more down here whoops almost dipped in my glue okay now you're probably thinking I would love to do this but I don't have those beautiful papers that you do and Marie what are you doing so I'm gonna help you out because all these papers are you can download them from Pixabay because I am on Pixabay and most of these are on my page so normally you'd have to let this dry but for the sake of the video I am going to already stick it on there so what people use to do collages most people use a gel medium gel medium uh, comes in oops that's a little bit too high up there uh, gel medium you have it in gloss and in matte and in satin and it doesn't really matter which one you're going to choose because it's uh, all about the medium which is pretty sticky and if you can't get anything else that really is suitable for collage you can use gel medium on the other hand it is pretty expensive to use as a paste but a lot of pastes really don't work for this type of uh, collage thing. So we're going to put the... Oh, that's nice. I've got some grungy looking stuff going on. We're going to put it right here. Okie dokie. And what you can do is have a dry brush and sort of tap on the... Uh, the paper to make sure you don't get any bubbles and that's that so that's number one <clears throat> now I'm looking for something different oh I am going to fill in those those grungy looking things though so I'm going to paint that in 
just a little bit because we don't want white. We don't mind these uh, marks, but we don't want them shining white because that sort of distracts. So then we're gonna take another bit. Let's see what we want. I think I'd like this dark corner. And now, because I tear it a different way, you get the jaggedy edge on the bottom and you can just use the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, uh, talking paste. So what I'm using is the bookbinders glue and I'm using it because it's archival and it's not gonna affect the, uh, the print. And once it's dry, doing this a little bit bigger. And once it's uh, dry, it is waterproof. So that's kind of nice. Tapping it right along. And I would like something going, oh yeah, this one. No, no, no. Hard to choose. This one. But I'm going to go like that. Just tear it off here. And I sure hope I'm inspiring you guys because this is a lot of fun to do. It really is. So I'm going to, where it's white, I'm again going to color it in because I don't like the white. Now I'm already thinking of what else I'm going to be putting on here because this is more or less the background. Uh, this isn't anything, this has nothing to do with, you know, the whole thing. Although maybe you could. I'm going to give it a little bit more green down here. Wait a minute. i got to get that green in there. And on the other side. Because I just might want to, you know, have a little bit more room. So I will. Now we're going to put that down there. And when I put this one on, I'm going to let the whole thing dry because that's a good thing to do. You don't want to paste the whole thing because then it's going to buckle and it's going to be, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's a good idea to put too much paper on wet because if you put it on buckled paper, it just might stay like that. And we don't want that. We want it totally flat because we want to be able to put it on a panel if we like it. So let's see, I think right here, that's where I'd like it. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to go and add a couple of more layers. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's dry, and um, I just want to give you guys a, a lot of uh, options if you want to get into this kind of uh, art. So um, I was going to, you know, stick more paper on here, but what you can also do, and that's where the create creativity comes in, you can also come in with paint. Now that's going to give it a more of an artsy look. And it's not about being um, really a good painter. It's just filling in sort of the white bits. And you can give it a few effects if you like that. See a little bit of dark. But we do like when we see those brush strokes. So that's what we're going to do right here. There you go. That sort of um, pulls the green up a little because of the, uh, the same sort of colors I'm using. So I'm going to put this on here. 
But this is just, you know, what you can do, guys. This isn't uh, about you have to do exactly what I do. I just like giving you a lot of options, what you can do. Ooh, I don't want to go over the paper that much, though. And the good thing about this is you can sort of take it off again. If there's a bit you don't really like, like down here, I did want to take it off because I do like that sort of coming in there. Okay, that's nice. We got that done. We got this piece done. Now, you can always go a little thicker over the pieces that, you know, to make it a little bit wider and longer. That's absolutely no problem. So we're going to give it a little bit more down here. Just to make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of that yellow. Just to give it here a little bit a different look. And you can do so much with the paint. You could use a little bit of uh, gel to make it a little bit thicker so that you can really go over where the paper starts that you can't see that. But right now I think you have the idea of the things you can do. So right now this we have to let dry but I'm just going to finish this off because otherwise it's going to be a way too long video. Um, what you can do is on Pixabay you also have, um, well, millions of, of images. This one I just printed out. It's from Pixabay. And you could put it right there. Add flowers, add insects, add whatever you want. You could, uh, with a black pen, make a tree on top. You could do that. Um, you can go for a bigger uh, butterfly, like I have here. Just put one right in the middle there and then add some sort of pen. I would add something to it. Of course, this already is really, really nice. Uh, what you would have to do, this is store brought, bought and you see the white. I would cut all the white off, then stick it on and add paint to the top because uh, I like that it has a look that you know you you sort of sort of I don't know just that it doesn't look like something store bought but something you made. So I would add paint on top of this, add a touch of glitter of course. What is something without glitter? Um, here we have a really nice one that blends in because it has a lot of green in it. That is really nice. Totally different thing now. You could come in with this one. This one is a little bit smaller. Totally different painting. And um, I could just go on and on and on. You can go to town with this, with collage. There are so many things you can think of. Uh, once, once you start this, i got to warn you, your brain goes in overdrive. Because um, if you're like me, I have all these little tidbits of stuff all laying around. And everything can be put in a collage so that is something else also we could add text you could write a little poem up here um, <clears throat> there's so many things I could just go on and on but I'm sure you have a lot of uh, ideas popping up in your brain right now so um, <clears throat> I hope I uh, inspired a lot of people I'm pretty sure I did because if you see how easy making a background is and then when, once this is finished, you can just, you know, anything you want. Um, another thing I really like is the little circles. Here I added one here. I lo love those little circles. This is just some bottle cap, something that's round. You dip it in your paint, you put it on there. That's it. Um, when it's dry, I put the little dots on and I put an outline uh, around it. These little ones... These I uh, did with one of those 
uh, perforators. So I just punched them out of a, of a chart, a map, put it on, put a little rim around it, and that works just fine. Now these golden ones also I did with one of those punches, punched them out of some pretty paper, and you're good to go. And you can put them on there, and you can go on and on and on and on. There is, of course, um, the danger that you go on too much and <laughs> you put on way too much. Uh, I think I did that in the beginning. But right now, you know, you just add and you can lay it on top like that for a bit. Uh, I also, I'm looking if I have it. No, I don't. Have, I've already put it away. Uh, I also bought some, um, uh, you call it tissue paper. So it's really thin. And when it's wet and you put it on here, it disappears. So what you do is you put your uh, pattern, what you want to put on top, you put it on the tissue paper and you can also print it because I did that. Uh, let me show you which one I did, not that one. I'll show you what I did with tissue paper. This I printed with my printer on tissue paper and then I just put it on there and uh, it just disappears. The paper disappears and what you printed stays on top. This also, the, this round thing with all those uh, numbers on it, I just put that on tissue paper, printed it, and put it on. And, it, and everything disappears, just what is printed stays there. So that is a lot of uh, fun to do. And I'm going to do a lot with tissue paper in the near future. Now, like I said, these were bought in a store. They come in one of these packets. They were like 70 cents or something like that. They have so many butterflies in there. This is what's in there. Lots of butterflies. So, and you have them in different colors. And I'm pretty sure if you look online, you will find something like it. And uh, you can use them however you like. A little bit of paint, a little bit of bookbinders glue, a um, little bit of watercolor to do the uh, sides, and just have fun. So I hope you like this uh, explanation of the collage. Of course, everything is downloadable at pixabay.com. So I don't get money from Pixabay. They don't give me anything. Um, it's just a, a super website to go to and download backgrounds, download images. Right now they even have music. So if you have a video, you have your own channel and you have a video where you need music, you know how hard it is to come by. But Pixabay has music, copyright free, you can use it everywhere. And that is really cool. They even have a video. So if you can believe that, all free of copyright. So thanks for watching this week. Oh, and by the way, the financial bit of the house just came through two days ago, so we're good to go. Um, I just have to read the uh, the whole thing. It's 35 pages full of mumbo-jumbo that I have to get through, and then I have to sign it. My husband signs, and we're on our way to our new house. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Love you all to pieces, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.